Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. The dreams I had about um and recently. So so Prophet of Solomon, you guys know what what's going on with that. Prophet of Solomon um you know was on a live stream and she talked about christopher well first she talked about what's going on with the uh w w with the lung community and the enemies of the lung community and then she showed uh two caucasian men and two asian women that were trying to take the entire chain down okay and god said that they wouldn't be able to do it they're trying to do it but that he won't let them do it he won't allow them to do it and you know classic and USTC will eventually prosper significantly and they will also a lot of all the tokens will be burnt um and people will be hard to get lunk and uh in the future because a lot of the tokens will be burnt same thing with shiba inu and dogecoin okay and then she and then she reminded people about the dream she had about christopher and um and how he was passionate about luna classic and everything like that and then she saw him on you know sitting in a uh, in, in a chair and and with black and white on when when she said black and white you guys know how i feel about people in black and white <laughs> you know what i mean like but in dreams it could be it could be indecision because black and white is duality right it's good and bad good and evil so there's a good side to you there's an evil side to you right and it's occultic it's it's the masonry stuff right they they wear all the time you look at all the interviews look at all the people that come on the espn and breakfast club and Club Shay Shay and all these other places right on the internet podcasts they're always in black and white pastors and on rate uh and radio ads in black and white black and everybody's in black and white because everybody's in the in, in in the masonry occultic stuff right so uh and some people in the, on YouTube are not in it and they're not they're not masonry masonry they they're just wannabes we call them wannabes right so they're they're they're, they're doing the same thing that they're you know they're covering their eye or they're or they're they're doing the sh you know symbol and stuff like that on their videos, and they want to be in it, but they're but they're YouTubers, so you know then they have no they, they're not popular YouTubers. There's a lot of YouTubers that are in it, right? That that are in the masonry occultic stuff. Uh, we we know though we know those, who those people are. They wear it. They they have Baphomet signs everywhere, right? They 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 tell you exactly who they are, right? But the smaller YouTubers that are these crypto people, they a lot of them are not in it. They're just wannabes, right? Um, okay, but um, so so she saw Christopher uh, having to make a decision there, and or s she saw like sadness on the because he was wearing black pants and sadness, and and um, and then and then um, she saw him with a crown uh, on his head, and and um, gonna basically gonna take Luna Classic, uh, you know, gonna take Luna Classic to where it needs to go, right? But but that was her interpretation of the dream, right? And then and then and then um, and, and then Christopher. You know, I played the video and then people played it to Christopher as well. You know, I did. I played it on, on, on my video about his dream and her 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 dream about the um about the enemies. And then Christopher said, you know, a lot of a lot of stuff, right? A lot of a, a lot of stuff that it was shocking to a lot of people. Right. Uh, unless you're against profiters, right? So if you're against profiters, you're probably like, yeah, that's what I thought too. But if you, most people, most of the people had a shocking reaction to what Christopher said, right? Um, it's like, wow, Christopher, you know what I mean? A lot of people had that right reaction. Like, man, you should, why don't you just keep your mouth shut? <laughs> you know? And I think that's, that's the, that's the problem with the body of Christ is that we can't, we can't keep our mouth shut when somebody uh, compliments us and blesses us or says it or sees a great vision of us. We, we ruin, we ruin our blessings because we can't keep our mouth shut because we don't, 
we don't agree with their either their teachings or we don't agree with uh, some of the things that they that they do right and that's your free will to not do that but man when you open your mouth and say what christopher said here and you you have now taken it into a different stratosphere right christopher should have this is what christopher should have said because even if he doesn't agree with the biblical teachings of prophet of solomon if prophet is, you know if prophet of solomon was um, who's one of the um, famous Caucasian uh, uh, pastors out there? I don't even know anymore because I don't follow any of them. But um, let's say Prophet Samuel was a Caucasian white popular uh, pastor. He wouldn't, I, in my opinion, folks, he wouldn't have said what he said. <laughs> you know, um, he would have said he he probably would have said, um, "Tell her thanks." I, you know, it is what it is. Right now, this is what Christopher should have said. Christopher should have said. Christopher, even if he didn't agree with her teachings and stuff, Christopher should have said this: um, uh, "Tell her thanks for the um, for the kind words and the and the and the, uh, and the and the powerful dream that she had about me. I will try my best to lead Lunk uh, Luna Classic to the top and revive the chain in, in, a, in a godly way." That's it. And everything that he had inside of him, and everything that he thinks about her, he could have kept inside and, and deal with that between him and God. That's what he should have done. That's what he, that's what we should all do in the kingdom of God, right? <laughs> right? We shouldn't be doing. We shouldn't say the things that he said, right? Um, and that was that was you know it is it is what it is, right? And so um, people were shocked, right? And um, but you know some people agree with Christopher as well, but some people were shocked. Okay, so when Christopher said that, then Prophet has responded powerfully in the video that literally was shaking the, the, the laptop, <laughs> you know? I watched that video, Prophetess, and it, my laptop seemed like, it, it was like an earthquake came on my laptop, <laughs> you know? And so, you, I, and I told Christopher in one of my videos, you know, you, whew, do not mess with that woman, man. You, do you not know the history of other people trying to have done? Have, oh my goodness, you know? So anyways, <laughs> so, so after that, I started getting these dreams. I started getting these dreams, man. And I'm like, what the freak's going on, right? I start seeing myself in all, in all this wealth and wealth and wealth and wealth. But uh, but then it's like warnings as well, right? The wealth, like somebody's trying to take my wealth as well, like half of it. And this one, half of it here. Somebody's trying to take this one. I even I had a dream of of um, a toaster, uh, the, the, you know, the, the toaster catching on fire. But it was the fire didn't spread nowhere else. It was just in the toaster. So I go up to the toaster and there's a bread in there. I I literally take the bread. I don't know how I took the bread out of the toaster when it was on fire, but I took the bread out of the toaster, and one side of the toast, one side of the bread was burnt, but it wasn't burnt enough to start a fire. You know, it was like it was burnt, but it wasn't burnt enough to start a fire. You know what I mean? And then another side of it was not burnt at all. Right. And bread represents wealth and money and things like that. Right. And in dreams. And I guess bread comes represent anointing. So but um, so I put the so I take the I take the, um, the the toaster that's on fire and I put it on the ground and I'm, and I'm about to, uh, you know, put some water on it to, to take out the fire and that the dream ended. So 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 that was one of the first dreams. So it's like, yo, you get the bread means wealth, So you're going to have wealth, but then half of it's going to be taken from you. Right. So I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, and so I had to cancel it, pray against it, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Do all the things I have to do against it. And then, then I have another dream about wealth. And then I have another dream about wealth. And I'm, I'm wealthy. I'm traveling. I'm doing stuff. You know, I'm, I'm traveling and stuff. And then I have another dream about um, today. Today I had another dream. And then I had this, I had some money. I had some money in a, I had some dollars, bills, or some, some bills, some money in a container or in a, in a in a little in a nice little plastic container and then somebody's trying to rip it open and then take the money and then the, but I but I and I stop the dream right so I I wake up from the dream before they can take the money and I cancel it and stuff like that and I'm like here's another dream right about having wealth having money so something big is coming right so something big must be coming on the horizon and the enemy can see it or it could be the warnings it could be the warnings about Christopher, right? And, and that the people that are, um, and it could be both. It could be both. It could be, it could be that 
you know, wealth is coming to the to the body of Christ, right? And also warning that it's gonna like the enemy is gonna be able to take half of it, right? Or the enemy's gonna be taken be able to take some of it because of the connections or because you're you know with Christopher, you know. So because this all started after Christopher said what he said. And then prophetess came on and did her video and said, he is now, God says he is now a cursed man. And then that's when it happened. That's when everything started. And then I had a disturbing dream about Christopher. I woke up, I was sweating. Boy. I was like, Lord, have I not had, and look, this is, has, I, I have nothing. Christopher didn't say anything about me, right? Christopher, I haven't said anything bad about Christopher. I, I, you know, I wanted him, I wanted him to be a number one validator. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm like, you know, so I'm just telling you the dreams I have because God said, I better tell you the dreams I have or I will suffer. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you the dreams I have. Right. Okay. So, you know, God was like, yo, you, you, you're you going to tell them the dreams you had. And so that the blood isn't on you. Okay. When I, when, when the things happen to this man. So I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> and, and you, and you protect the 365 crew. And the eyes open media crew, okay. And when they don't, uh, if they don't listen, then that's on them. Then, then it's on their hands. It's no longer on yours. The dreams. That's basically what the dreams is. The dreams is if I don't, if if I don't undelegate and if I don't clean my hands from this man before God and before things happen to him, then I'm going to go through the same things that he went through. Just like I went through the same things Benny went through. Just like I went through the same things. Other prophet, prophetic people went through that you guys have no clue about. <laughs> okay. So, so God was warning me. God kept warning me and warning me. He's giving me all these dreams of warning. Yes, you're going to have wealth, but they're, they're going to be taken. Some of it's going to be taken if you don't do what you do, what you know you're supposed to do. Right. So, and God is saying that because I, I did tell my telegram, look, I'm going to undelegate if, if he doesn't make a public apology by Friday, next Friday. And I was like, let me give him some time. And God's like, they don't, there's no time, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like there's no time. And so here's the dream I had about, here's a dream I had about Christopher. It was, um, I don't know where I was at. I was, there was, maybe we're in the building or something, but it was white in the building. There was a table and uh, Christopher standing at the table. I don't even know if there's a chair behind him or not, but he was standing at the table. I, I forgot. I don't even know what he was wearing. It was almost like we were in the clouds or something, but we were in this building or something. It was all white and something like that. So, um, and, uh, I, I believe it was all white. I can't remember. I think it was white. I think it was white, but, and, and then, um, what happened was Christopher standing at this table and all of a sudden a portal opens up, a portal opens up out of nowhere. And this thing was so disturbing, folks. I literally saw every thing of of evil come out of this portal and attack this man. And man, I I woke up sweating. I I was it was it was awful. That's why I said it was very disturbing. But because I don't hate Christopher, right? I never he hasn't done anything to me, right? I'm just telling you what I'm so I'm just showing you what I saw in the dream because God said I better tell you guys. <laughs> or that the blood's going to be on my hand. Okay. So, um, so, and so you guys make your own decisions. So you need to make sure that everybody, every all the 365 crew members need to watch this video. If you're, if you're in lunk or, or you're attached to this man or in some way, say, perform, and then pray about it yourself and go to God about it yourself. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just making sure the blood is off my hands. Okay. Um, because that's what I should have done with, that's what I should have done with Benny. And that's what I should have done with some of these other people because, and, but I didn't, I went through the pain with them, you know, and I suffered with them, um, you know, and so, um, God doesn't, this time it will be financially though for me. So I, I don't want to go through, I don't want to do that. Okay. We work too hard to do that. So, so I, I don't want to do that. Um, but, um, okay. So that's what, that was a dream. So Christopher was standing at a table. A portal opened up and then literally every demonic thing just came after this man. 
I don't know what that was all about, man. That was scary as hell, man. <laughs> excuse my language, right? Uh, well, that was that was fr it was from hell. So I can't. I don't have to excuse my language because it's from hell. If you use it in the right term, then you're okay, right? If not, then just say heck, right? Then you know. But at, literally, it was. I see. I saw every every satanic thing that you can imagine just came after this man. And it, they all went straight to him. And then what happened to him is that when they all attached to him, he fell right down on the, under the ground. He went right through the ground. And I woke up and I was sweating my, I was, I was like, what in the world was that? So we, we, we can't play around with God, man. We cannot play around with God and we can't play around with his servants. We can't, we can't be disrespectful to anybody. I don't care if you think they're a false prophet or not. We can't be disrespectful to anybody, man. Okay. If you got problems with people, reach out to them, you know, pray for them, you know, say, look, I don't agree with them, but thanks, but thanks for the kind words and thanks for the dream. And, and I'll be praying for you. That's what we have to do now because man, it, it's not, it's not, it's, it's no more playtime with God, right? If you say these types of things about his people, man, he, he, man, he's, he's not playing around, right? So that was a dream I saw and that was, man, I woke up sweating. <laughs> I've had a lot of crazy, I've had a lot of crazy dreams, man, but man, that one was awful, right? Because I, because I, I like Christopher. Right. Because that. And so so I don't want to see I don't want to see people like that. I don't want to see people that I like go uh, be and be that way. But I'm going to tell you guys what I saw. Right. So. So I, I saw that. And so God was God's like, do what you need to do. Right. You don't have time. Right. And so and so the guy's like showing me dreams that the dreams of the dreams of money, money. I'm wealthy. But then, boom, somebody's trying to take my money. Somebody this, some, some of that this and that. It's like, man, okay, 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 okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> you know, the convention is like, okay, I got it. I will undelegate. I will break all, all soul ties, covenants, and any, anything in the spiritual realm that deals with me and Christopher. I will, I will, um, unsubscribe from him. I will unfollow him. I will take down the videos. I will, uh, you know, I will delete all my tweets and stuff. All right. I got it, man. I got it. God. I got it. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just dream after dream after warning after warning. I, I never had this before because I don't know. I'm thinking to myself like, Lord, Lord, I've, I've asked you about a lot of things, and you won't even respond to some of those things that I that I thought. But yet, with this is like urgent. You know, I've asked God about tons of stuff, and I haven't gotten I haven't gotten dreams about literally a lot of these things that I've asked God about. But this one right here, after he after he said what he did about uh, uh, prophets and then prophetess prophetess made that 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 video that literally shook my my freaking laptop. <laughs> it's been warning after warning after warning after. I'm like, Lord, have mercy. What's going on, right? And he's saying he's like urgent, 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 right? Save yourself and your people and the people, right? Or you will suffer the consequences. I was like, man, I ain't suffering this time around. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I suffered through it, man, with the other people. I'm not suffering this time around. No way, shape, or form, right? So, so, um, so that's what that's what happened. All right. So, so I have I have redelegated to DF Monk, um, on both uh, on both Terra Terra Classic Station and and. Uh, station money and i have taken down the videos i've done everything and i have prayed and i have uh, you know i haven't prayed against christopher because i have nothing against christopher right i'm just telling you guys what god has shown me so i just i just had to break the you know break the covenant soul ties break all the things that could be attached because when you talk about somebody and you like somebody and you talk about their ministries and you pray for them, you, you get, you, you, you get spiritual soul ties and spiritual covenants and spiritual friendships. You know what I mean? So you have to break those things too. So, because then, then you then, then you can still, even if you do do all the other things, 
you can still get, you know, some, it's called particles, right? You might get some of the linger particles could still be on you. So I had to break all that stuff. Okay. And uh, some of you guys have left your churches and, and your pastors, but you haven't broken the, the spiritual soul ties and covenants and contracts and all the stuff. And that's why you're still getting beat up from the church. It's like, why? I left that demonic church and I'm still getting all the stuff that they're going through. That's because you need to go in prayer and you need to break it off for you spiritually. Right. We, we live in a, a world that is spiritual first, not not physical second. So you got to do everything in the spiritual first. All right. So anyways, that that's the dream. That's the warning. Um, like I said before, I have nothing. I don't know Christopher like that. I was I've been positive about him the whole time. And and and, and then he did what he did about what prophet is. Then prophet has responded. And then, boom, I'm getting all these disturbing dreams and warnings and warnings and warnings. And God's like, you, you will, you, you better say something. Oh, you and, and, and protect your 365 crew members as well. And make sure that the blood is off your hands. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm being obedient. All right. So, all right. So there you go. I didn't want to, I, cause you know, you know, me guys and girls, I will, I will, I mean, I will ride to, I will ride with somebody to the death, you know, <laughs> like, you know, so it's really, it's really hard to be like, man, I gotta, I gotta undelegate. I gotta, I gotta break all this stuff off of this man, you know? And, um, and then I got to tell the 365 crew members that I did this. And so then, so then the blood can be off of my hands. And now you guys can then go to God about it yourself. Right. But at least the blood's off my hands. Right. I've, I've broken it spiritually. I've broken everything off of me physically, spiritually. And, and I'm going to ask the Lord, if there's anything else that's there, if there's anything else, then I'll break it off as well that I'm missing. And so that I'm not, I'm not, nothing affects me. When, the, when when these things take place, Whew, Lord have mercy. I, I it was awful. Anyways, peace out. God bless. And you guys need to go to God about it immediately, because uh, he was like war urgent, <laughs> you know. So uh, no time to waste. <laughs> so Jesus Christ. Okay, we got got it. Got a big man. Got a big man upstairs. Got it. We got it. <laughs> you know. Oh, he ain't playing around though. He's not playing around. All right. So, anyways, I guess we'll. I guess we're all gonna watch and see what happens. Cause time tells. Time's gonna tell everything, right? So it, it did the same thing uh, when when I, I remember when Prophet was in um, battle with all these other people. Time. All we had to do was sit back and, and look at time and see and see what happens. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna, we're gonna look. We're, we're, we're not wishing him. I'm not wishing him anything. I'm just telling you guys the dream I had, so I can get the blood off of my hands, right? So and that I'm not. I'm not gonna. Um, whatever happens between those them two, right? And whatever whatever happens, it's nothing. Nothing is on me, right? So, um, yeah. So, anyways, that's it. And nothing's and nothing's on you if you obey what obey, obey the Lord, right? Um, so you need to go in prayer and you need to go ask the Lord what to do. For some of you guys that are on the fence on what to do and who to trust, who not, got to go to the Lord about it. You know, got to go to the Lord about it because that's all you can do. I, you know, God was showing me all these things. He said, "Urgent, make a video, take the blood off your hands." I'm doing it. I'm being obedient. Peace out. God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.